Here we are at FixMyKite.com and we're talking about bridle lines. Replacement of bridle lines either on a water kite or a foil kite or any kind of kite that you might have out there. Most commonly you'll have is in the foil kite is a small type of bridle line. It's a Spectra inner core with a Dacron outer core rated in colors. And uh, on the water kites, a lot of the line that's used is a 732nd Spectra cord braided line. It comes in many different colors. This is used in most areas on the kite where the pulley is in effect. This can be replaced and easily replaced on your kite as long as we know the length and everything else which I'll describe to you on how to do that measurement and get it into us correctly. Again, you have a range of different colors. Colors are not a big factoring amount when it's on a bridle. If it's on the correct side and you're connecting to it, it really isn't a matter. As well as when it comes down to some of the water kite lines, this is another Spectra inner core. This is the thicker type line. It's about a 1 8 inch thick used on almost all water kites, uh, stitched. All of our bridles will be stitched at the ends, looped and stitched, and they will complement each other on using of this type of line and the Spectra braided type line for the bridles on the water kite. When you get into the foil kite, you're going to be using a small, more like a paraglider type line. There's usually two stages. The ones that are connected directly to the kite are the small, and the ones that are secondary, which is the ones, uh, the next step up from the kite where it pulls in the small ones and then linked in with the larger one. There are two sizes here. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but you'll see that there is a tiny one, which as I said, if you're trying to figure out which one, smalls are normally connected directly to the kite pull points, and then the next stage out is normally the thicker ones. So you have a stage one and a stage two line, but just remember it's small and large bridle line for a foil kite. Again, colors on these, a lot of foil kites come with a huge range of colors on their bridles just for their indication. It really doesn't matter as long as you get the correct size, you won't have a problem with it. We have the bright yellow, as some call this a neon green, um, we call it a neon yellow. We have the gray, which is uh, very common, and we do have a few other colors around here as well, if it is particular that you want to match that. So again, how to do this and measuring out your bridle line. This is a small section, just making it small so you understand, you can see it in the video. What this is, is what we call a loop to loop. Most bridles are this. If there's a loop to knot, as long as you undo the knot or you could leave the knot in and tell us the length and add a little bit, you can always tie a knot a little further. So for reference, here is a loop where if I cut it down here, here's your knot and I cut it off here, this is what we would call a loop to knot. And when you measure this type of line, Remember, to set it up, you can tell us in inches or centimeters. Centimeters can sometimes be a lot more exact, but this, for instance, I would tell to a measurement, I would call this at about 26 centimeters. And if you have a knot in here, just remember to make it a knot, but add in a, uh, another 10 centimeters or something, so you have plenty to tie some extra knots. So again, flatten your loop, set it at the end, measure out, if there's a knot and you cannot get it undone, add 10 centimeters to what you would normally. So if you 26, I would do this at 36, so that you have plenty of room to tie a knot and adjust it as you need. Now, what we're going to describe on most bridle lines that are used are loop-to-loop. -loop. A loop-to-loop -loop line is, is this one here. You have a loop at one end, a loop at the other. It's sleeved inside, and this will be stitched. So if you are sending this as a measurement, Make sure to pull this out snugly, flatten your loops, set it as a measurement. This here to me would be 24 centimeters. We pull these, stretch them, and stitch them all back inside of themselves. So again, tell us loop to loop, 20, 20, uh, 24 centimeters, or loop to knot. Now, if you're doing a bridle line for a foil, this is normally what happens, is you'll get a cut in the bridle here. Again. This is a, was a loop-to-loop -loop bridle. This would be the small line. It's the thinner one. And you can tell if you measured it with accordance to any of your other bridles. So, loop-to-loop. -loop. To do this correctly, get a piece of scotch tape. Lay it down. Match up your ends as close as possible. And notice the spectra inside where it broke is some of the most important. Not your outer sleeving. Because outer sleeving will stretch and change. Tape this down. Roll it over tightly, 
then lay this out, smashing the loops on the ends, measuring this from one end to the other. This would be 57 centimeters loop to loop. Now, some people, if you would like to have an extra bridle line in your quiver or in your bag, just in case you have anything break, you can always order this line as a loop to knot or loop to no end. And what that would mean is you would have a loop. So if you wanted to fix a line uh, quickly, wherever you have a loop, you'll be able to lark set it into it. As such, around the bridle, once you cut the other one out, keep this one in there. And where there's a loop down here, what you would want to do is if this was a line, is you're going to put it through back onto itself, lock it off, and match the broken one, and then tie a small knot down here. This would get you by, so if you're out somewhere long ways away, these type of lines will get you back in the air and you will have no problem, and then later on can be stitched. So it's very simple. As long as you get that correct link from the, the one that was broken, you're fine. I'm going to describe this again with just a piece of line so you might understand a little better. So, for instance, if I was wanting to replace that broken line in there, you'll have all your bridles come to one point. Leave the other one in there that might be broke. Lark said this into the system through all the bridle points. Then if your, old, if your old one is in there and you want to match it, such as this one was in here, you could bring this one down to where it needs to be, again, making it longer, add 10 centimeters to it, loop it through your system as it was, and then tie a knot behind this. You won't have any problems with this. It will hold all your load and you can get back in the air as quick as possible and, and still keep riding without having to stop. Again, you do not want to take your bridles and tie them back together where they broke. That is an incorrect length and that could actually make your foil uh, fly in correctly. So if you do need a replacement, order it loop to knot and then add 10, meter, 10 centimeters to anything of which you think it might be close. You can order a couple extra lines. Um, this will make it easy to replace, again letting us know when you need a line, loop to loop, measure the outside ends, and tell us the type of material. You can also send us in a picture very quickly on fixmykite.com showing us what the bridle line is and we can match it. Mainly if you tell us what kite it is and if you know the size, if it's a foil kite, if it's a small line that's connected to the kite itself, or the secondary stage, which will come the next one away from those, which usually groups together all the small ones. And again, at FixMyKite.com, we can fix any bridle on any kite. We can fix any kite, anyhow you'd like to have it fixed. We guarantee all of our repairs for the life of the kite. And make sure to, make sure to uh, subscribe to our uh, YouTube videos, and you can always learn more.